Howdy fellas, Frankie Day, back again on YouTube. Okay fellas, say YouTube, I have another presentation collection of my builds of the past. This is a 1963 kit of Lindbergh's Blue Devil Destroyer, USS Melvin, DD-680. Uh, the Melvin was a, a Fletcher class destroyer, which is modeled here. She's wearing the 32 measure paint scheme that was used from 1943 all the way up to uh, the end of the war which consists of pale gray, haze gray, and black. And the decks were painted blue-gray, which was the norm of World War II uh, class uh, ships at that era. And after the war, by 1950-51, they went back to just regular like, dark gray, which is pr primarily almost like a 5D measure, just black and white if you mix, if you mix your paint together. And uh, there's no boot topping on top of that uh, water winder, fellas. I, I put it on the, they're optional on destroyers. Uh, I was on the, a gearing class, the USS William C. Law, DD-747. And uh, she had no boot topping on her, so I figured, what, what the heck, I won't put it on this one. Uh, I built this model primarily for radio control. It's, uh, so far I've got two... Uh, I got two motors that uh, direct shafts in it right now. Electric motors that are, I think it's dumbest engines, six volts. And uh, so far, I haven't uh, put an electronics inside of it. Thought that superstructures are, are removable. But you know, I, I'm starting to have second thoughts about even even going there. So I, so perhaps someday I'll just go ahead and just abandon the whole idea of making an RC job out of it. I got so much projects on hand, so. That's at least my worries. Anyway, uh, folks, uh, this is a good kit. There's a little history behind this model right here, fellas. Uh, I bought this German hitch when I was in the Navy. Uh, there's uh, one home for leave. And there's a, a discount store called A to Z Discounts. They sold everything from the kitchen sink in there. I mean, you'd be surprised uh, back in those days how cheap you'd get anything. And uh, I never knew this model existed until I went into the model department one time. And they had, oh, I tell you, fellas, if they had they had stockpiles, you say, stocked all the way from the stocking table up to the overhead. And they were $5 a piece back then. But a kid at the time was retailed for eleven ninety five, twelve dollars $12. And uh, so everything that store deals with is more than half off. So I said, so what the heck, you know, I mean, for 5 bucks a shot, I bought four of them. So I bought four of these kits. And uh, I sold three of them to my shipboard, shipmate buddies, and uh, they enjoy them. This is the last one of, of the original uh, release of it. Okay, guys, there's a fan tail looking after. You got your 40 millimeters, you got your 5 inch 38, you got your torpedo tubes, K guns, depth charges. Go up for the suit structure, you got your two 5838s, closed mounts. On the, on the starboard side, there's no anchor hose pipe there. Some, some, most destroyers uh, were, were that much in anchorage, but it, it was an emergency situation in case they had a I mean, engine casualty or something. They can always drop an anchor and keep the ship in motion. So there's no need for two anchors. Uh, this ship is exactly uh, 36 inches long on a scale of 1245, I believe. And this is very suitable for radio control. A unique feature about this kit, folks, this thing came with a uh, a gearbox that was powered by a 9 volt electric motor. Now that was a very ingenious device back in those days. I never, it was unheard of. It's almost like that as a a tube uh, a tube transmitter called like, like a Babcock uh, tube transmitter. It, it, it had a, some kind of an atom gearbox. Anyway that way that that gearbox in this kit was designed off, off an apparatus like that. So anyway this gearbox gave you a, a unique feature that was un, very unheard of back then. It, that's what sold the model back then and earned its popularity even up today. Uh, is that the, they gave you four cams. The rudder control runs on a cam which runs off the gearbox. And the gearbox runs the twin screws and also runs your torpedo tubes and your 5 inch 38s. And while the ship was underway, all these features are working. It's a very ingenious gimmick. And uh, therefore, you know, this will scuttle on this one, so. Uh, I've seen a lot of them built out that way, but the, with the unique features, the best thing of all is a bonus to give you the kid to give you four cams. Now, this cam operates a preset course you set for on that cam. All you got to do is take the cam off by using a screw, by using a Phillips head screw, which is uh, screws on top of the gearbox, which runs the uh, the, other, the other accessories of the kit itself. And uh, 
you got a straight course, circle source, uh, uh, course, figure eights. <coughs> All kinds of good courses there, folks. I see the close up right there with tortillo tubes. You got your twin 40 mounts on there. And you got your whaleboat dabbing on there. That whole superstructure comes off, folks. Except the deck. The deck don't come off. Now, I did some plastic surgery on this kid. The only inaccuracy of this model is a forward of the, of the bridge up to the stem. It, it's, it's more straight more than swift up because almost 10 cans of the, of the 21 ton uh, class destroyers as a Fletcher class, which this model is, all the way up from the bridge up forward it has a slant to it. That way it keeps, makes, it, it makes it excellent breakwater. Well, folks, we're coming about to the end of the video right here, and uh, I don't want to cut myself off short, you fellas either. And uh, again, my heart and uh, prayers and thoughts go to go to our Freddy Duarte and his fast and speedy recovery back to YouTube again. Hope he's well and his family also. <coughs> Excuse me, folks, it's cold, boy, I tell you. Anyway, uh, our heart goes out to our Freddy and his and speedy recovery. And again, folks, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in and your wonderful and warm uh, comments on my builds of the past. And I'm glad I'm not more nobody out there with these things. I just figure I keep you guys on your toes, give you guys something to look forward to. And that's the kind of a guy I am. And uh, I make Godspeed. And uh, everybody takes care of yourself. Happy modeling. Please subscribe. And thanks for tuning in, fellas. And uh, we'll catch you on the, on the next video. Uh, next video I'll post will be my George Washington number two. Thumbs up, boys. You fellas will take care of yourself, guys. We'll see you next video. Bye, boys.